All right, what's up, you guys? Uh, thank you for stopping by. I want to share with you a few minutes of a review for the Topo Athletic Magnafly 3. Really enjoyed running in this shoe, put in about 200 miles of marathon training in this shoe, and uh, I want to tell you a little bit about it very quickly and uh, just give you my estimation, my review of what kind of shoe this would be for you if you chose to run in it. Uh, first of all, I just wanna say it's a very simple shoe, very uh, very basic. The title of my review is Back to the Basics. It's, it's very simple, nothing complicated underneath, nothing complicated on top. Uh, on the inside, it's a, it's a zero drop shoe from heel to toe. Uh, really reminds me of some of the first editions of the Ultra Escalante, except a little bit stiffer. And of course, there, this is not a knit upper, it's a mesh upper, but otherwise uh, very similar to the, the Ultra shoes with the zero drop and with the wide toe box. Uh, let me start off with the laces here. Laces are very basic, nothing complicated to say about the laces. I'll just say that I didn't have any issues. Uh, you, you see the kind of uh, laces, uh, the, the kind of tie that I use. Um, I use all the holes, use a heel locking tie um, at the top. Uh, so the laces are, are exactly the right length for the way that I tie my shoe. Um, the toe box you notice is really wide at the top, uh, allows all your toes to splay and move as much as uh, they need to, as much as you want them to. Really enjoy the wide toe box. Um, heel is good. Uh, no, notice the the, uh, the the foam mold uh, heel, molded heel um, really uh, cinches the heel down quite nicely back there with no rubbing. Uh, perfect height for me, at least. Um, the only issue I had was the arch support in this shoe. Now, granted, I have not been running in a zero drop shoe for many many months, uh, so switching to a zero drop shoe. Uh, I had an issue with the inside of my arch having some pain. Um, if there was more arch support here, I think it, it would have been okay. Uh, however, uh, I did have some pain, but I'm gonna chalk it up to not running in a zero drop shoe for a long time. And so, uh, so I won't count off too much on the arch support, but just uh, recognize that there's not much arch support uh, in these shoes. Um, the upper is very nice. Again, it's a breathable mesh. Just kind of, it's just one piece. I mean, it, it's there's nothing fancy going on. Not multiple things. Just uh, just one piece going across the upper, which I really like. Uh, midsole is is flexible but firm. Uh, there's two densities of foam inside here. Uh, the upper portion against your foot is a little softer. The lower portion against the road is a little firmer for better uh, response. And. Uh, uh, really, really found that uh, enjoyable to run in. Uh, the outsole, when I first looked at the shoes, outsole, I thought that maybe there was not enough um, hard, <laughs> hardened rubber uh, to put up with the wear and tear of these uh, of these shoes and use. Uh, however, uh, it is minimal, but it's perfect. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any issues. You'll notice there's not much wear on the. Uh, on the foam portion, it all is in the right places, at least for me. Uh, the hard rubber is, the rubber outsole is in the right places for uh, for heel, uh, for foot landing. Uh, so really uh, enjoyed that. Uh, the weight, this is about 10 ounces. So uh, again, uh, they've done a good job of making it lightweight. Uh, now I put 200 miles on these. I used them for all the, the course of runs that you do in, in typical marathon training. So. I use them for short to mid distance recovery runs, use them for hill, hill repeats, for track workouts, for uh, I think I did an 18 plus mile long run in these and uh, overall have no issues, uh, none at all. Nothing to complain about on any of the runs. When I wanted to run fast, they were capable. When I wanted to run slow, they were capable. When I wanted to run long, they were capable. Uh, everything that I use these shoes for, uh, they turned out to be just uh, just right. So uh, again, basic, fundamental, simple shoe, uh, adequate for any kinds of workouts. Um, they're very versatile uh, for any workout that you might need. Um, when it comes to the expected lifespan, I, I put 200 miles on these shoes and uh, don't know how well you can see the wear and tear on the, uh, the front portion, looks pretty good. Heel uh, looks pretty good. I would expect that these have several hundred more miles of wear and tear left on them. So uh, I'm throwing these into the rotation and I uh, expect to get lo lots of miles um, yet on these shoes. 
Topo Athletic Magnafly 3. Uh, I have high marks across the board. The only negative, negative things to say again is just not enough arch support, uh, but overall a, a wonderfully simple shoe, back to the basics that you need for everyday running. I give it a score of 98.